For a while now, you've been able to add annotations to YouTube videos. You can see in this example, I've got an annotation telling everyone to hit the like button if they like the video. And you can do all sorts of other cool things. You can always link between different videos in YouTube, but you can never go outside of YouTube. At least, at least I couldn't on my account. Now, what happened today was Google offered me a new way to link to different external things. And I wanted to run through that really quickly with you to show you what I found out about it and how easy it is. I'll show, I'll, I'll show you the exact process to go ahead and get set up for that. It's called external annotation links. There's three things you can do. There are three different types of links. The first one is linking to fundraising sites. So that's going to be you know, things like Kickstarter, which I thought was pretty cool. They've got Kickstarter and Indiegogo on here. So there's a couple of ones that are, that are up here that are actually, they're fundraising, but they're also commercial fundraising. So it's not just for, you know, out of the goodness of your heart sort of fundraising. It's it's just getting money. And I thought that was really, really cool. The second type of link you can do are merchant store annotations. And of course, everyone, first of all, they think merchant store, okay, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. But there's no Amazon, at least not yet. But what they do have, they've got two pretty big ones. They've got Google Play and they've got the iTunes Store. And I, I bet you can probably get your mind racing and thinking about all these all the possibilities about linking to things in iTunes and Google Play. Now, these have to be things you own. So it's it's linking to things that, that you own. But if you already own content, if you've already produced, you know, whether it's a book or an ebook or or audio, something like that, then you can go ahead and you, all you have to do is add the links and it'll take, your, it'll pick, take people right to the iTunes. They can buy your product and you're good to go. So it's it's not so much for people who are trying to do affiliate marketing, but this is stuff if you if you've got something, something to sell, you can go ahead and do it. An exciting one, and this is the third one they have on the list, is called uh, an associated website. It looks like it's fairly simple to get a set up for an associated website. You've obviously got to have a website first of all, and I'm just going to go through the process right now. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to go ahead and continue associating my website. But what it's going to do is once I associate and show them that it's me and it's my website, you're making me.com, they're going to let me link back to my site. So I'm excited about this. So all you need to do is when you go into your account manager in YouTube, you're going to see right at the very bottom, it's going to say associated website. Click on the associated website. You can add in your, your email address, your, your URL. And in my case, it's your making me.com. And then I had in there, I think it, whatever it said, accept or click or whatever it was. Okay, I'm coming back after a little bit of a gap. Now, what happened was I put everything in and I tried to associate my website, but it didn't seem like it was working. And I went through a couple of times and I, I added all these extra extra verification things. I did all the extra verification steps and it still wasn't working. Now, here is my issue, and this may come up with you too if you have more than one Google account. And it was simply this. This YouTube account that I'm using ha is different than the YouTube account that I have associated with my website and with Google Webmaster Tools and all those other good things too. So I actually, instead of verifying, I had to go in and request permission from my other Google accounts, uh, my, my other Google accounts. So make sure you, if that's a problem, if that may be an issue with you, if you if it's still showing pending under yellow, you can go ahead and just ver and request verification. Go into Google Webmaster Tools in your other profile if you have another one, and then give the approval that way. So now we're going to get back in here again, sorry for that guys, and we're going to go ahead and we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. So we'll go into the we'll go into the video manager. Now I'm going to pick uh, one of my my videos because this video actually talks about There we go. Let's pause it quick. It actually talks about um why my, my blog is this is actually uh, a podcast. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually link to the podcast in iTunes and we're going to do it from a video about the podcast. So it's going to be a second to get that set up. All right, so let's give it a shot here. We're going to go over to annotations. It's a regular annotation, so we're going to go in and add it like any other one you would. I'll just pause that. I'll just throw it in the middle right now. And uh, just so we can get a bit of an idea, we're going to add annotation. We'll choose a speech bubble. And I'm going to say, visit my podcast on iTunes. Perfect. I'll just tweak it up a little bit here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. It doesn't really matter, I know. And we'll, oops, I actually want the I'm in trouble here. And add a little gray. We'll throw it down below. Perfect. Come on. It's not cooperating. Now we're going to go ahead and we'll add the link. 
So this is the, this is where all the magic is going to happen. As you can see, as I click down the link button, now I do have the fundraising, the merchant, and the associated website. So we're going to go with the merch first of all, because I'm going to throw, show you a link to my podcast in. Let's go back here, I'll, so you can see it quick. Probably hit the home button in the iTunes, the Apple iTunes Store. We'll go ahead and we will go back up here. It's saved. We'll publish that. Perfect. The next step will be to view this on the video page. So view it on video page. And of course, I didn't really remember where it started, so let's, uh, there we go. You might podcast on iTunes, bada -ba bada bing, bada boom. There's the You're Making Me podcast by my by me, Kevin Oxner, on YouTube. So that is awesome. Okay, the next thing we can do, actually, and I should have just clicked back to it here, that's fine, is now we should be able to... I'll, I'll do it in the same one is, oops, I'm getting all over the place. We'll add a second annotation, and I'm going to throw it here, visit, yourmakingme.com, and this one should allow me to put my own website in. So we're going to link it to associate a website. Awesome. We'll save it. And I better lengthen that too or else it's not going to go. Very nice. And I'm going to throw it up here in case I've got... Let's just tuck this up here. We'll move it up. And... We're good. Save it. Oh, it's saving. There we go. Publish. Perfect. And we'll view that on the page. I'm just going to open up a new window. That should go right away. Time, I don't have time, and then I go, oh, I'll okay, go right back to the beginning. You're making me podcast. There we are. Visit you're making me dot com. And there you go. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to drop by either my YouTube page or if you're making me dot com. Leave me a tip. Uh, leave me a comment rather. I speak on and I blog on productivity and persuasion and life hacks and all those cool things. So please, you feel free to do visit my page and come check things out. Until next time, I'm Kevin Oxner. Take care.